today we're hiking the Cades Cove Loop. There she goes. I'm just so scared of a bear. We saw a coyote. A little piece of paradise. I don't know where the little shits are. Girl, what you hiking with? Look at that cool thing. Isn't that awesome? And Kate's Cove, which is like Black Bear Central. Good morning. So today we're actually going to be hiking the Cades Cove Loop. Um, one of the best kept secrets in the Smokies, well, it's actually not really a secret, is uh, they actually close the road until 10 a.m. on Wednesdays and Saturdays so that people can either bike it or hike the loop without cars, which is quite honestly, I, in my personal opinion, the absolutely best way to see Kate's go. <laughs> um, so, hopefully we're gonna have a good day. There is a chance of rain. According to wow. prediction, <laughs> according to prediction, it's not till 7 p.m., which we should be well gone by then, but um, it's pretty overcast right now. Anyway, it's gonna be a lot of fun to actually be able to see wildlife and the cabins and things without the interference of vehicles. So one of the first things you're gonna encounter when you start on the loop is Rich Mountain Loop Trail. And there's not a sign here. I feel like there used to be, but there isn't a sign here. So that is the first trail that you can hike. A lot of bikers will bike this loop when it's closed. It's a really great way to see things without having to take as much time like you would with hiking. It's just little things like this that you never notice when you're driving. I don't even know what this is, but apparently it's not been touched in a long time. I've actually ran this loop several years ago when I was really into running all the time. Slacked off quite a bit. <laughs> um, I'm really kind of hoping, sorta, or anticipating maybe I should say, <laughs> uh, seeing some bears just because it's typical to see bears in Cades Cove anyway. And then be in early morning and not a lot of cars out. Um, yeah, hopefully you'll also see a lot of runners run this trail. So a funny little story about when I ran this loop um, several years ago probably about maybe four years ago, four or five years ago, maybe six years ago. Anyway, um, so I'm on the second like half of my run and I'm starting to think to myself, okay, so granted this is before like I really had started hiking. Um, and I'm like, so I'm running. Now bear, they tell you not to run from a bear. So if a bear sees me running, they're just gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's playtime, and chase me. So I'm running through the loop, and I'm in an area, you know, that's a little bit more woody. You know, like the woods are off to each side, and it's not very open. And I start thinking about this, and thinking about a bear, you know, looking through the woods at me, and just start chasing me, because he sees me running. <laughs> it's just funny to think about this now. Um, so I start having a, like, kind of like a little mini panic attack and just freaking out and I'm sort of like almost in tears over it because I'm just so scared, um, of a bear, you know, chasing me. And one of my runner friends ended up kind of coming back and, uh, cause I, 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 got, I had gotten kind of separated from the rest of the running group uh, just cause they were a little bit faster than me. Uh, and I guess he came back kind of looking, 
you know, make sure I was okay or whatever. And then I was like, oh my gosh. And of course, Grant never saw Bear. And uh, I just think how funny that is, you know. And of course, since then, obviously, you know, I've solo backpacked and um, I don't feel quite the same way anymore about the Bear thing. Um, yeah, anyway, just funny story. Next feature on Cade's Cove Loop is Sparks Lane. Um, it'll basically, if you decide you didn't want to hike the entire loop, or excuse me, hike or drive, you could take this road and it'll bring you out to almost the end of the loop. Uh, there's been a lot of beautiful shots off of this road here. A lot of photography shots I've seen in professional photographs. Jerry is using the Olympus. He's trying to be an amateur photographer today. The next feature on this loop is the John Oliver cabin. See the cabin there in the distance. It's a field of chiggers. Good times. There she goes, walking up the road. <laughs> Uphill. This is always fun, whether you're walking, running, or cycling. Oh my God, there's like a hundred bikers going by, and they're like yelling and screaming. And there's nothing worse than being out in the woods and hearing people screaming and yelling. Not because there's a reason for it, just because why not? And people go out into the woods for peace and quiet. I mean, I get people talking a little bit. There's no need for hollering at the top of your lungs like you're on a roller coaster. Oh my God. Sorry, that is a pet peeve for me. And I'm gonna vent, cause I can't. It's my video. And the next stop is the Primitive Baptist Church where Jerry and I got married one year ago. That's the road. So it takes you to the Primitive Baptist Church. And the next church is Methodist Church. This is a very popular one people take photographs of. It's a heart-shaped tree stump. Oh, here's the field where Jerry and I had our wedding photos made. services out picking up trash the next road on the loop is Hyatt Lane um, it's about like about a five mile I mean it brings you out so you have, I think you have five miles left to the end of Cates Cove and it's a gravel road yes I was correct five miles uh, left if you go Hyatt Lane or seven miles to for the, for the full loop. So you save about two miles. Next you'll come to Rich Mountain Road, which will take you out of Cates Cove. And there's also some trails along that road. One of them being Rich Mountain Loop. You can either end or start there. So right now, Rich Mountain Road is closed. I think I do remember reading that online. I'll have to look up why it's closed. I don't remember why. And then there's Missionary Baptist Church. This was the church I actually wanted Jerry and I to get married at, but uh, the parking lot's not very big, and I thought it would be less private for us. This is the church where my friend Brooke and her husband Jay got married at. It's a beautiful church. No stopping, be courteous, use pull-offs. 
That goes for all you car drivers in Cades Cove. Hello. <laughs> pretty popular spot in Cades Cove to stop and just get a picture of the mountain range. Ample parking here. And down this road, this direction, ha has a tendency to get bottlenecked. Uh, there's usually deer or sometimes actually a bear, almost like right out in this general region here. Jumping through. You know, hiking along this loop, it's um, kind of imagine what it was like back when people lived here and were settled here. And although there wasn't a paved road at the time, um, and I think it actually followed a little different route to the, uh, the road, the original road that existed, but um, just, man, it's just really such a, beautiful area which not that I didn't already know this I've driven through here multiple times I've hiked the trails I've have ran I've ran the loop but there's something about just walking it um, and taking your time and really looking around you and taking in the scenery <laughs> um, that makes you appreciate it more than if you say you're running it or you're on a bike where you you're not gonna be you're moving more quickly so just um, it's really cool. I think there's some crazy guy coming behind me. Scary me. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Don't be pinching my butt. <laughs> Sorry. Next spot you come to is Cooper Road Trail. This one, you can actually hike this trail. The trailhead, Beard Cane Trail. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that one is not a fun trail. It uh, survived a um, tornado that came through back in 2004, I think. Could be wrong about the year, but uh, it's just pretty much destroyed the trail as far as there's just a bunch of um, bru um brush and things on the ground uh, that just makes it really hard to hike it without tripping and falling and killing yourself. We just spoke to a really nice gentleman who uh, is a volunteer for the park and just talking about um, you know what they do here in Cades Cove for talking about um, just kind of trying to keep you know being there if people need help or just kind of be careful of, there's a couple areas particularly right here um, where we're walking down right now it's a pretty steep um, grade and um, so they want the cyclists to slow down anyway and we just kind of got to talking about um, <laughs> tourists and how um not actually hiker tourists just in general and you know it's blessed i mean people just don't know i mean if you don't, sometimes if you just if you don't live in this area um and you don't come to this area much you might not understand how the park works but uh, just kind of funny you know um back in the day when i worked um When I worked in this in Gallimard, you'd get calls. People would say things like, um, "You know, which one do you let the bears out?" <laughs> you know, things like that. And it was just kind of funny. So anyway, he was talking about how someone had asked, um, "At what elevation do the deer turn to elk?" <laughs> I've never heard that before. And I was like, "Oh God, I just love it. That's awesome." <laughs> Uh, I'm not making fun. I'm not, I really just actually think it's so funny because it's just like I said, 
if you don't know, you don't know, but I just think that's just awesome. I never heard that before. <laughs> I don't know. I want to know what elevation deer turned out. <laughs> Elijah Oliver Trail is right up here. Let's see, just go up that trail there. You'll come to Elijah Oliver's cabin. On a drive that I did with my friend Angela through here, we actually stopped at this location and I saw a, we, or I should say we saw a coyote. It was actually over there at the Elijah Oliver cabin and we had followed it out into the field. Um, I never could get a really close up picture though. Too bad we don't see it again. I'd like to see that coyote. I will say, if you get a chance to come out and walk the Cades Cove Loop, um, I highly recommend it. This is actually really nice. Just you see so much more than you would see driving it. Um, we're trying to drive and stop too, and uh, it's just pretty awesome. You can walk or bike this loop um, May through September. And that's on Wednesdays, excuse me, on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And it's closed till 10. You can do it anytime, actually. Um, that's just when it's closed. So you don't have to worry about, you know, a car coming in, like, run over you. But you can actually walk it whenever i don't know about biking but i know you can walk it pretty much whenever you want they just close the gate so you can't drive through that's all and the extremely famous abrams falls trail down that road well we have made it halfway we are almost to the visitor center, so we might just go ahead and take a little, take a break, take a lunch, <laughs> although it's like 9.15 in the morning right now, so it's actually a little early for lunch, but, I don't know, I'll tell you, it's funny walking on concrete, ugh, yeah, trail runners and concrete hurts. are not a good yeah. mix. Yeah, trail run Cherry said trail runners and concrete. Not Don't mix. We have some, a little bit of gravel here. I'm walking on it. It actually feels better, sadly, than the actual concrete. <sighs> but I think my trail runners are starting to get out. Oh, there goes the guy who he just passed behind me. The volunteer guy. Oh, we can go to the bathroom. Woohoo! I don't have to go pee in the woods, although I already did. And I would do it again if I had to, because I don't care. Yeah, we're going there. I need to go to the bathroom. Solar power. The visitor's center. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. We took us a little lunch break. I took a brief nap. <laughs> I was tired. Ah, and of course it's like 10.30 now um, and the cars are coming through. I'm really shocked to already see cars just because when we're behind them on the road, they're usually, oh my God, the gnats are so bad. Um, when we're behind them on the road, the gnats are usually so bad. The gnats. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm talking about. The, what was I saying? The gnats are confusing me. Um, usually when we're behind the cars on the road, they're always going so slow. You know, like the speed limit is 20, which, I mean, you gotta go slow, but it's going like 5 miles an hour. 
but apparently whoever's coming through right now is hauling ass. It's okay, we're not gonna bother you. We're backing up. It's okay, you can go. You can go. Go ahead. Hurry for car comes. Jerry car traffic has started. Blech. Try not to get killed. On case couple loop down with all the cars. And we're back to Hyatt Lane again. So we've just looped back around to where we were at earlier this morning. This is where Hyatt Lane brings you out at. There's a cabin here on the right. Man, that Don Lawson, he had it made. Cabin right there. Flipping view of all views right here. A little piece of paradise. Minus the traffic. This guy has two kids sitting on top of their van. Not even like, yeah, that that's call a ticket, dude. We are now at the Tipton place. A lap of luxury for Gates Cove. This guy was rich. It's hard to tell. This might be the most boring video you've ever watched him on. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully not, but <laughs> nothing too exciting. Um, it's just a road. I'm sure a lot of people have drove it before. Uh, that's a little bit different perspective when you're walking it. Um, <laughs> I did quite a little too loudly say, tell a guy to slow, slow down, asshole. <laughs> He's like, yes, ma'am. Oops, I didn't mean for him to hear me. Just uh, some people are going like really fast, really fast, which is hilarious because no one ever drives fast on this road. Usually you're wishing they'd go the speed limit. <laughs> I wish, I kind of wish we'd seen a bear. <sighs> well, maybe we're not done yet. It ain't all fun and games. Look at this hill. There's been a few of these. This one might be the longest up, I think. Well, I mean that we've done on this second half. Yep. Oh my God, look at the line. Yeah, I know. Of cars. Holy Lord. It's a lot. I like to live here. Yep, this is a perfect little spot. Yeah, I like to live there without, I like to live there without all the cars. I'm already pooped. I mean, it's crazy because it's not like it's, I would qualify this as hard hike. It's just, um, but it's really kind of hard on your feet, just the concrete. Um, so different than a trail. <sighs> but anyway, I think we're getting close to maybe about two miles left. Um, <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of energy. <sighs> and it's really hot. Like, when I say it's really hot, I mean it's really humid. The humidity is so high that I think the real temperature is like 80, what is it? Like maybe 82? Oh my God. And the real feel is 100. <laughs> it's crazy. Unfortunately, no bear sightings yet. I don't know where those little shits are. But they need to come out. I mean, if you can't see a bear while you're walking, Cades Cove, there's something wrong with that. What you hawking with? What you hawking with? Oh my God, don't feel, you're filthy while I scratch my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little bear. Hey girl, what you hawking with? Woo! I'm hawking with a braid. <laughs> I'm hawking with a braid. <laughs> Lord, you were Jerry and I were just talking about how, since we got our bear tattoos, how we haven't seen not one bear. And we usually always see a bear. I think we might have jinxed ourselves. 
Yeah, I um, got. I'm I got black bear. The bears most wanted. Oh here. Oh y'all haven't seen Jerry's tat. It's, Hold it's on. It's the bear most wanted tattoo. I've got some uh, baby bears. Look at daddy that cool thing. Arm. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> cool. That's why we haven't seen any. Yeah. That's so I don't know. Maybe we scared them off. Maybe they're like they the think bounty we're, we're bear bounty hunters or something. I don't know. But for whatever reason, have not seen one at all. And we usually we notoriously see. Or we hear one at least. Nada. And we're in I'm, Kate's Cove, which is like Black Bear Central. I'm sure Usually. driving home, there'll be a car jam. There'll be a bear. Probably. And you can get out Fear. with your whistle again. Uh -oh. <laughs> I might have blown my whistle once driving on the main road. People literally stopped in the middle of the road. And this they lady, were way too close. To and this lady bear. was literally like. Not even, not even 50 feet. Probably and just there, huge. And he's digging in the ground. And she was, she was down in crotch position, take, to take a picture, which is actually a defensive mode to bear, to black bear. Anyway, whatever. I can't breathe. There's thick. So Gretchen jumps out of the car like a commando. Hey, with a whistle. Sparks Lane, which is what we saw in the beginning. Um, this is where it brings you out at right here. So, I'm not sure. I want to say we might be maybe like two miles, maybe less, I hope. I don't know, my feet are hurting. Jerry, Jerry, Bowberry, Banana, Banana, Bowberry. That is cool. People on their horses. It's all kinds of people. All right, well, we're at the end of this loop. Water's pretty low right now. Trying something new today. Finally.